What's up, everybody? It's what the gym, and I've been waiting a long time to do this video, and that is ranking the Uncharted games. Uncharted is my favourite video game franchise of all time, and there are five Uncharted games to rank. Let's just count the PS Vita, Gold, Uncharted Gold, and Abyss. I've never played it. I've never even seen it, and I, I, I want nothing to do with that game because it looks really. Because I've heard really bad things about it. Um, so the reason why I'm doing this video is not only because it's to do my favourite video game fran franchise, but it's also because I, I have this save file for Uncharted 3, um, because I had the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, which you play the first three Uncharted games on that, the, the, the remastered Uncharted games. I recommend that if you haven't played, if you haven't um, played any Uncharted games, that's a good way of starting. But um, what I'm trying to say is the reason why I'm, the main reason why I'm doing this video is because um, I deleted the game while once I did the first three games, and it was then on um, PlayStation Three. So I then got it back. I sent it back um, from 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 the PlayStation because it was free, but I didn't have the save file for Uncharted Three. So um, I'm redoing Uncharted Three: Direct Deception, um, and you know I'm actually redoing that at the moment. So this this video sort of goes well with it. I hope I hope all that makes sense. Um, but it's just my save my save file was lost, so I have to redo Uncharted Three again. I'm fine with that because it's my favorite video game franchise of all time. So, um, but anyway, that being said, let's get started. Um, I believe that's all the information I had to say there. I've got all the information on my phone for this um, as well. Um, so let's, let's, let's get started with with my number five, which is um, you, you could let me know your yours. Um, your top five in the comment section below. This is spoiler free, so if you've never played Uncharted before, there's going to be no spoilers. But num num number five is the first Uncharted game, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So we'll start off with the good. I thought the story was very fun, great relatable characters with like Nathan Drake, Sully and Elena. Great voice acting with Nolan North playing Nathan Drake and, you know, the voice actor for Elena. I think her name's Elena in real life, I, I can't remember. Um, and I think amazing gameplay for its time. Um, it doesn't feel perfect, but um, we're going to be talking talk about the bad in a moment. Um, good puzzles in, in the game as well. And um, there are vehicle se se sequences. They are really great as well. Um, there is a twist at the end of the game. I'm not going to mention what it is, but I, don't, I like that, that, that there is a twist, but I don't like what the twist is. Um, the gameplay isn't as smooth as in the other games, like, it does feel like it does need to be improved ever so slightly. The other games, I feel like, nail the gameplay a little bit more. Um, and the characters um, have had better screen time in other Uncharted games. You know, this, this is the first Uncharted game, so you've got to cut them some slack, but I still think I still think this is a really great video game. Um, it's not as much environment as the other games, there's not as many locations you go to, um, and, it can, and that can get a bit repetitive. And there's more action in the other Uncharted games. So for those reasons, for the good and the bad, that's why Uncharted 1 is my least favourite. But it's still a really great game and a really, really great start to franchise. And I would rate it an 8.5 out of 10. So let's go with num number 4, which is the latest Uncharted game. Uncharted The Lost Legacy. So I, I, I for that the fun story, great notable characters, great voice acting as well. Um, it was semi-open world for half of it. Um, and, I, and I thought that was, you know, one, one of the cool things about it. Um, it got a very compelling villain, in my opinion. And um, I think Chloe, um, it's usually Nathan, Nathan Drake who's the protagonist, but I think Chloe, who, who's the protagonist in this game, I think is a very good protagonist. Um, and then, and then there's also there's, there's something there, spoilery, that I'm not going to mention. The graphics, the best in the Uncharted game. Some of the best I've seen, the graphics are fantastic. Um... You, you can take photos in the game, but the, the, the very brief things, the very minor things, but I still think they're quite fun things to do. The game does feel a bit too short, and the environment is quite repetitive for the middle and the end, but the, 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 the beginning is fine. And, you know, the, the graphics make it not much of an issue because the graphics are so gorgeous. Um, and there's no Nathan Drake either. Um, and I love Nathan, Nathan Drake as my favourite video game character of all time. Um, so I would rate the game an 8.5, and you can get it right now on the PlayStation um, Store with 55% off if you've got a PSN account. So it only costs like £17.19, um, some, something like that. 
But anyway, let's get to number three, which is the Uncharted game we're doing at the moment. It's Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Um, the good, uh, the great characters, great story. The relationships are great in this game with the characters, you know, with like Nathan, Nathan Drake and Sully and Nathan Drake and Elena. Um, I like the locations that, that, that we go to. And the gameplay has really improved for the first two games in this one. The gameplay is perfect, in my opinion. Um, and I think that the, the best Uncharted moments, two of my favourite Uncharted moments, um, I think more than that, are in Uncharted 3. It's such an amazing game. Um, the bad, the graphics aren't as great as other games, I think it's my least favourite graphics. Um, and I think there's too much action. You can have too much of a good thing. I, I think that's what, what, what one of the problems is here. But it's still an amazing Uncharted game with a couple of problems, but I'm still going to give it, it's one of my favourite games of all time, Uncharted 3, a 9.5 out of 10. Um, and now we move on to a number 2, which is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Um, I think the story is very fun, great relatable characters, I think the best puzzles in any Uncharted game, in my opinion. I think it's got, it's an amazing intro, it's one of my favourite intros of all time to video game. Uh, about the same, uh, uh, you know, great greatness as um, The Last of Us Part 1. So I think that they both have got the best intros in any video game, in my opinion. Um, and I think it's what it's the most funny Uncharted game, the most light-hearted one. I think the action, amazing. Um, the only thing that, that, that the other Uncharted games have got amazing action as well, they all do. Um, and it has my favourite villain from Uncharted being Liz Lazarevich. Um, and my favourite side characters are in this game as well, like Chloe and a few of the characters that I'm not going to mention because they're spoilery. Um, this is really just nitpicking, but the game gets slow near, near, near the end. But the, um, I think the best um, Uncharted final boss um, is, is in this game. And um, I think it, um, it becomes fast-paced after that, really. It's quite slow before then, and it's quite fast-paced um, after that. Um, you know, but, well, when the, when the final boss appears, um, and I think it's one of the best video game sequels I think ever, um, and I love the game to bits. I'm a rate it in a nine point five out of ten as well. I also forgot to mention that if I didn't mention it for Lost Legacy, that one is an eight point five out of ten. Um, and then, um, and then it says it says here that you should definitely get the. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan Drake collection if you're not playing the Uncharted games. Please get the Nathan Drake collection. It's a great way to get you into Uncharted if you're not played the Uncharted games. If you have played them and not had the Nathan Drake collection, it might be good to get a bit 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 nostalgia if, if you have any nostalgia for Uncharted. This video is eight minutes long, it's a ridiculous long video I've done on YouTube. But now we're at the number one, which is my favourite Uncharted game, um, Uncharted 4 A Thieves End. So good that I've redone it twice, watched it on YouTube twice. You know, well, I've, I've done it twice and I've watched it twice on YouTube. I think it's got an, um, one of the best stories. I'm not sure if it's my favourite story, but I still absolutely love it. Um, and I think it's, it's, the, it's, I think it's the most fun I've had an Uncharted game. It's the one I've got the most nostalgia for. I did this Uncharted game as my first Uncharted game. Um, and I think it's got the best voice acting and just best acting overall. Um, I think the puzzles are really fun. The graphics are fantastic. Also, I think Uncharted Lost Legacy. The graphics are slightly better. Um, and I think it's got the best emotions. You know, there's moments where you laugh, moments where you might cry, moments that put a smile on your face. And I think the gameplay, again, perfect. Like Uncharted Three, ten out of ten for both of them. Uh, perfect amount of action, paced very well. Um, best vehicle segments are in this game, in my opinion. Um, it's yeah, like what I said, the most the Charlie game got the most nostalgia for. Um, there's also an Easter egg in the game. I'm not gonna comment on what it is, but it's an amazing Easter egg. And the soundtrack, God, it's amazing in this in this one. It's amazing in all the other Uncharted games, but you can really tell it's amazing in this one. Um, and there were a couple of things bad. I think Uncharted Two and Uncharted Four is neck and neck between which one I like better. But at the moment, it's Uncharted Four, the one that I like better. Um, it can get a bit slow at the beginning of the game, but it's not too much of an issue. You know, I think it's not my favourite first act in any of the Uncharted games. I think my second favourite act might be from Uncharted 2, and my favourite third act might be from Uncharted 3. I was thinking about that earlier um, in, in, in the car. Um, 
and I think it took me a while to like the ending, like there's there's an epilogue, and it took me a while to really, you know, love the epilogue, um, and, you know, it's Uncharted 4, it's one of my favourite video games of all time, it's Uncharted's my favourite video game franchise of all time, I love this game, 9.5 out of 10, um, I loved it that much, like, 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 like I said, I redid it once, and I've watched it on YouTube twice, um, and, you know, it, I just absolutely love, love Uncharted. I love all these games so much. You know, there are problems with them, but I still feel like they're amazing video games. If you've not played them, please do yourself a favour and play the Uncharted games. Get the Nathan Drake collection. Get Uncharted Lost Legacy. Get Uncharted 4. Just avoid Uncharted Gold, Gold and Abyss. Don't even watch any videos on it. Just don't look at it whatsoever. It's just bad, you know. Uh, it doesn't ruin Uncharted, but I still feel like it's a bad game. But that's all I'm going to mention for this um, ranking. Um, I've, been wait I've been waiting to do this one for a while. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing my next video. Which would be Bridget Jones Diary of Bridget Jones Baby review. I've only seen half of the film. What what what, what I've seen, I, I think it's really good so far. But that's all I've got to say for ranking the Uncharted games. I do apologise that this video is 11 minutes long. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. What is your favourite Uncharted game? In the com let me know in the comment section below. But um, I don't want any spoilers in the Uncharted games in case you've not played it. So please, no spoilers, otherwise um, I might delete the comment. But anyway, thank, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And um, we're, so, we're actually not that far from 50 subscribers. So only 10 more away. But it will probably take me a while to get there. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, thank, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, ciao.